Theme of antics is currently playing, Spur. Okay. I currently have mechanical rhythm because fuck your feelings, I guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. It'll sync up eventually, I suppose. I mean, I, I don't have the whole OST playing. I just have whatever that I have downloaded on my computer, which is just the things that I like. <laughs> So do we have to, like, find Nopon all over the shoulder? Yes, actually, that is exactly it. Oh, I think I've uh, heard about this, and so then you can, like, use a bunch of them in battle. Yes, this is, uh, how you unlock the thing that replaces chain attacks. Neat. And, I'll be completely honest, it's, I don't think it's a good replacement, but we don't really have a choice, so no sense in complaining about it. Well, you can complain about it all you want, mate. I'm just, just <laughs> saying, it makes you a little bitch is what it does. Well, yeah. Well, which is exactly why I'm not going to complain about it. Pond Spectres. I like it. Yep, Frontier Village. Still around. Oh, this is awkward. I feel like I know Tentu. Was he in the base game? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure all of these were uh, added for uh, def or not definitive um, future connected. Well, I mean, technically, we are playing definitive edition. We're just in a sub part of it. Now, all of the names of the pawn specters are numbers, basically. Uh, I think there's twelve of them. Okay. And 10-2 here is number 12. Oh, 10-2. Right, okay. Yes. The chief is 1-1. One, one. <sighs> Bunch of fucking clown shoes. <laughs> He's a gin one -er. Yes, yes he is. I mean, we're not really doing anything else right now. We were kind of just on the way to, uh... I'm not sure if we're on the way to Alchemoth or the other camp right now. Boy, Tensu, you really don't get to the point, do you? <laughs> Nice establishing shot. That's kind of weird when <laughs> it's padding up from the text box. Alright, uh, I guess we'll go through the caverns first then. The one that it was pointing to with that panning shot is up in the high level Tefra Cave ish area. Okay. And I don't think you need that one right now to be able to do anything, so you can probably leave it for later. Unless you wanted to get it in between recordings with casual mode. We'll see. Casual mode is there for me. Okay. Those colors are important. Alright. Uh, let's see. The Pond Spectres are an elite band of surveyors from Frontier Village, split between three colors. Uh, if you can befriend members from all three teams, Shulk and his friends will gain access to a new kind of special attack. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okie cokey, Archoke. Neat. Uh, I suppose we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, so you expected Kragmaw Caverns to be a dungeon? It's literally just this path. <laughs> Okay. I was weirded out the first time I did this, because I expected it to be something too. And it's like, nope, it's literally just this. Guys, I walked like 15 feet at most. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not annoyed, I'm just f finding it kind of funny, really. They are front-loading a lot of cutscenes, but I think doing that uh, first quiet moment helped with you that. Okay. 
and the side quests as well. I think I'd prefer that in stuff like Kingdom Hearts, honestly, instead of the back end of everything. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Like they kind of did the same thing with Melody of Memory, I think, but, uh... Well, that was advertised as such. I have been mistaken in my thinking. Also, that was never really meant to be a long game either. <laughs> no, not really. Hope you guys enjoyed the first part of that, by the way. That was the quick look. There are more parts coming as a full playthrough. Indeed. That even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Mm. The wounds have not yet fully healed. Quite. Those who lost their home. Those seeking the light. We're back in Colony 9, everyone's happy. Yeah. But we don't really the get to see, you know, what happened to everyone else in the world. Oh, well, but maybe one did. day. Not at all. The high end here of Colony 9. Actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example. Or at least we're getting name drops. They're not just ignoring them. these other characters and pretending they don't exist. Aww. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. Did not even want to go potty alone. Fucking Nene. Yes. What the <laughs> point you bring that up? completely irrelevant to discussion. I love their relationship. Because it actually feels like they're siblings. <laughs> anyway, as we were saying. Cannot abandon hope. That upon's words. Hope. To become the hope of the high India. See, I was in the scene. I'm right there. Tadapon was famous. <laughs> he, he doesn't really seem like he's dying. He just seems concerned. You are the hope of the high India. I'm dead too, by the way. You will not transform. I'm close to the camera now. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Yes, that was the thing that happened. It is cool that much like with the Mekonis, this time we always have Alkamoth in the distance looming over us. I think I can finally see now. And we don't really know what's there. There's that mystery uh -huh. of, of what's going on as well. And if you want to get really pedantic, well, the Mekonis was like dark brown, blackish beige. This one was like pure white, so you have the contrast there as well. Oh, I like how the color tapers off in the environment. I'm using $50 words today. Uh, I, yep, I was going to say, there is a Pawn Spectre right near you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't... Evelyn? Yeah, Evelyn. Or Evelyn. Evelyn, probably. Obviously just an anagram of Eleven. Uh-huh. Survey for day was finished, so Evelyn... Make you sit down doing thing. Ugh. Are you telling me you want me to go into the water and get your food? Oh, you want me to kill the thing and take it back? Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> okay. It's pretty much just the normal Xenoblade side quest. <laughs> it sure is. Some of the things that the no, the pawn specters have you do are a bit more involved than this, but this is like super basic. That's fine. They can't all be winners. Uh, battle against enemies, the jump into out, shocking his friends. Each pawn specter has a signature move. He in the pie, da da da. Red or offensive, blue or healing, yellow debuff. Okay. Yep, so getting that battle affinity at the, or burst affinity rather, at the start of a battle is actually more important because it buffs the pawn specters and the things that they do. Oh, they're at the pie, yeah. You can actually 
turn them off when you're not in combat, because they'll follow you around like this. Uh, there's an option to turn them off so that they'll stay invisible out of combat. Huh. If you, you know, think there's too much on screen or whatever. Uh, how do I do that exactly? Uh, under options... Uh, I think it would be either display settings or game settings. Yeah, pa pawn specters. And battle always visible. That's fun. Otherwise, they just kind of follow you around outside of combat. Yeah, I got you. He just faded into the ether. <laughs> He's gone. His time is done. You might want to back up a little bit because they can't swim. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Ouch. I'm trying, guys. I'm very much trying. Can, can, can someone give me a bit of a pick-me-up, please? Thank you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was the wrong one. Oh well, it was damage. Thank you, Dano. And your brother Whip It, too. How did I miss that exactly? Huh, I don't know. There. That's how you cast armor properly. Where did Kino go? Oh, he's like way over there. What the hell? <laughs> Just chilling. A little bit of villain. I mean, I guess it makes sense for the healer to move away and, you know, fight from long range. Kinda wish Charlotte did that more often instead of just staying next to the enemy and dying. Uh-huh. Oh, this thing was here. No wonder we were getting hurt. There you go. Bit of that. Bit of this. Will we actually get to do a chain attack? Let's see. Uh, nope, because you don't have enough of the Pawn Spectres to uh, be able to initiate their new thing. Okay. I actually made a mistake in my run, and that prevented me from being able to do it for a while. But I will be directing you to not make that mistake, so that that doesn't happen. Thank you. You could have helped, but uh, whatever. Just, just had to get their food first. Yeah, buy another sandwich next time. <laughs> like, what were you gonna do if we didn't come, a, come wrong and whatnot? Just die. <sighs> whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so now you've got to collect these things for them. Da -da -da. I can do this quick right enough. That uh, obelisk or whatever there is another landmark that you can get a quick travel point. I shall grab it while we're here. Ooh, Zephyr. Interesting. This is a really nice area. Yeah, and it's actually quite a bit that you can explore as well. Uh, a lot of it's blocked off by high-level enemies, but, uh... Oh, boy! I, I wouldn't say it's quite on the level of if you see it, you can go to it, but there is quite a lot. There's a very expansive area. So that pod spec is done, right? I don't need to do anything more? No, you just picked up the three things, so you've got to take them back to them now. Oh, okay. Well... Her. There's more crystals over there. How to jump off that thing? We're gonna do it. <sighs> Disgusting knop on freaks. What was that, Uncle Shulk? Nothing. <laughs> 
Don't tell your dad. Yeah, alright, get the pie. Yeah, I guess. If we have to. Or you know how to look alike, anyway. That's why they have the colored flags. Indeed. But life will be so much easier. I'm gonna stop right there. Not saying any <laughs> not saying anything more. Ah. Oh, cute. Alright, so we have a blue and a yellow already. If we can find a red, you'll be able to use the new all-out all attack. Okay. But That was fun. <laughs> it's the simple things, okay? It is. Eh. They're fine, I guess. See, that's that's what I said. Is like you can't really choose what gems you get. I think each deposit has, you know, a, a set, uh, you know, list of things that they can drop. Yeah. So you just gotta keep checking to get the ones you want. It's not a quiet moment up here. Not sure if you can reach that one yet. I think that is in a higher area. Uh, well, there's more stuff to mine here. Nice. Uh, a couple of lightning attacks. Whoa, okay. Yeah, well, we'll go to that later. Yeah, like I said, really expansive area. There's a lot to explore. It's definitely worth just going around everywhere that you can before moving on, just to get side quests, fight some enemies, find collectibles and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Don't know how much that's worthwhile to Let's Play, but, I mean, it's, you do you. you. Do whatever you want. That was a quiet moment just there. Yeah, that thing. I think you should be okay. Whew, I guess we'll see. <laughs> of all monsters, the one labeled 69 is the one that scares me the most. I thought that was going to be a lot deeper than it actually was. And what you really don't want to do is go over the side of that cliff. Yeah, I was just about to, actually. <laughs> Uh, afternoon. Okay. Turn the clock back a couple hours. Okay. The land in the sky. Fucking Rodea up in this bitch. So high up! It really is, isn't it? No, Kino! <laughs> Kino, please! <laughs> You fall all the way down to the sea and just go plop. Too close to the edge. If you lose your footing, you could fall. And I'll tell you this much. I love you, Kino, but I ain't jumping after you. <laughs> Seriously. And I don't need the ability to see the future to know that one of you is going over if I don't keep a tight leash on you. <laughs> You're right. I don't think I've ever been this high up before either. And I'm just doing some rough calculations of height in my head. Yeah, I guess we're higher up than the uh, the head of the Bionis. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not really sure what's keeping these islands in the air. I don't know that that's ever explained, but probably similar to what's keeping Alchemoth floating. Aoife, baby. Yeah, I, I suppose that's the go-to answer. I think I remember something from an old book. Is Short wearing a onesie like Sora, or are those? Pants different to his top. I think the pants and top are separate. Okay. Ah, there you go. 
teeny tiny islands floating in sky. Very fantastic view. It's got to be Evil. The giants. Yeah. They Whatever was keeping them afloat in the air at sea. And there you go, Hoverstone. Oh right, that was never mentioned in the original game. In Earth Sea, they gather so much Hoverstone, it left up whole continents. Actually, you might have it backwards. Maybe they took Hoverstone from here and transported it back to Earth Sea. I like the Bionic Order a lot, actually. Yeah, we're learning about the original game too. Of course, it's best to take all this with a grain of salt. Until now, no Homs or even Hyentia have set foot on this continent. That's why the book's author might only be speculating about some aspects. I wonder if a little bit of this dialogue is pulled from the fact that this was dummied out of the original game. Hmm. Could have been. Because, I mean, until this point, no Homs has set foot on it. I do kind of wonder why the left shoulder was always inaccessible when the right arm was, you know, just a quick path over from Magna Forest. Yeah. I, I guess they're just, they never opened a path over to it. Maybe they're just rocks or just a huge mountain in the way or something. <sighs> Kino, I love you, but you'd make a great football. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Ah, Ricky Nostalgia. Rick Stalgia. Okay, so this part's deep enough, got it. Shulk, can I come into the party, please? No, Melia, you can stay where you are. Uh, we'll bring Melia in later. She's, uh, she'll be good for some stuff. Okay. I'm just enjoying getting to know the new lads. Oh, it's these fuckers. Yeah, these guys are back. They uh, always have some kind of animal with them. Because they're like beast tamers or something like that. They're just jowers, mate. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, Nene is definitely becoming tanky. Look at that health. Oh, yeah. I mean, she is basically Ryan. Yeah, my army of Nopon grows. <laughs> this is just shulking an arm army of Nopon right now. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, we'll come back for that later. Oh god, this is where I was meant to be going. I see another nap on. Nice. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, that's another one that destroyed me in my first run. I thought I said grotesque Dennis for a second there. Like, <laughs> not as intimidating. Alright. <sighs> Gotta kill them all, Shulk. I, I think this is one of the most basic ones for the Pawn Spectres. It's literally just this, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Come on, go over the edge. Uh, I don't think you really have any knockback. God damn it. Keep that armor crack a lock in, Shulk. Yep, the more armor we have, the better. I'll be around to help you guys in a minute. Let's we'll deal with this guy. It looks like they took out one of the others by themselves. Well, I mean, there's like four of them now. The Pawn Spectres don't do a whole lot of damage, but I mean, it adds up. Yeah, it's DPS, bro. Deca Deca. I think that's based off Deca, which is 10. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. 
Latin, I want to say? Something like that. Well, isn't dodecahedron a ten-sided thing, or am I thinking of a different shape? Uh, I think that's more than ten sides, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, if only Jack Black were here to sing us a song about the different sides of a shape. Eight awesome angles. Eight fantastic sides, all right. Concentrate, Tom, concentrate. Do it let's play. <laughs> a dodecahedron has 12 sides. Ah, uh, close enough. Alright, and that's another one joined. That would be good for Kino. Lock on resist and all that. Da da da, da da da. Nice. Another blue one. Oh. He just faded away like a ghost. <laughs> uh, let's see. Change equipment. Huh. I think lock on resist can only go in armor. Sort of bitch. Yeah, Shulk actually has one. Did Kino have any armor slots? Or did I just glaze over there? No, he doesn't have any armor slots in what he has equipped right now. Okay. Hey guys, bye guys.